Hi, my name is Jen Mark. I'm with Dynamic Living Sports Medicine Clinic and Personal Training Studio. Today is the second episode in our strengthening series and we will be doing hip mobility. Before we get started, I want to make sure that you have been cleared by your doctor to perform any exercises and if you have a hip injury that you consult with your athletic therapist before you get started. If you have any um, sharp pain or discomfort during the exercises, I'd like you to stop and consult with your therapist before you continue. Okay, so the first exercise that I want to show you um, with respect to hip mobility is a great warm-up exercise. So something that you can do before running a race, before getting on the ice, before getting on the court. Um, it's a great way to warm up your hips without actually sitting down and stretching. So they're called hip swings and you're doing them in two different motions. So first of all, you're going to start with your hands just on the wall and your leg is just going to go in front of you swinging back and forth. I want you to be nice and relaxed. You're getting your leg, your foot, as high as you can in just a nice swinging motion. And you can notice that my foot is off the floor, my heel is off the floor, okay, so that I can get nice a little higher, so that I can just clear the floor and get my leg to swing. I want you to do both sides so that both hips are able to swing and it's a great way to just loosen up those hips. So that's that direction. Then we'll do the forwards position. So again, up onto my toe on my outside leg, my inside leg. We'll be swinging just forwards and backwards in a nice free movement there. Okay? And then when you're doing this side, again, up onto my outside toe, and I'm doing this foot on the inside here getting as high as you can on each side. So for our next exercise, we want to get as much uh, movement in our hip as possible. So in our first episode, we did external rotation of the shoulder. The hip is very similar, so we're going to do external rotations of the hip. So you're just going to lie down on the mat with your knees bent to about a 90 degree angle. My hip is in extension, so it's straight, okay? And one pelvis is right on top of the other, okay? I'm not rolled back or too far forward. My feet will stay together. My hand is on my hip and I'm just going to lift my knee up and back down just like so. Without allowing any movement in my pelvis, the movement will all come from my hip. Okay? What's common is when you're lifting your knee up, people will roll backwards. I don't want that. I want you to stay right here and you're going to lift your knee up and back down. This is called a clam press. So you're lifting up and back down and I want you to feel it right up into the hip, not down your leg, okay, and not down the front of your leg and through here. If you do feel those, you can move your knees back a little bit and find the right position to make sure that you feel it in your hip into your glutes. So that's your clam press. Okay, so for our third and last exercise, I want to get the hip to go into extensions. We want to open the hip up and again use the glutes as not so much the hamstrings just to stabilize our hip. So you're going to have a stability ball which you can get from most fitness um, supply stores. And they're about 20 bucks. You're just going to put your pelvis over the ball so that your hands can be in front and your toes can be in behind. Okay? You're just going to lift. I want you to squeeze this glute and lift that leg up, not too high that I will roll my pelvis. So again, squeezing the glute and lifting your leg up just to about that height and then back down again. Then you can do the other side. Now we're going to squeeze this glute, squeeze and lift up that way. So the reason why we're doing it on the ball is you don't want it to move. So you're going to think about the stability in keeping the ball nice and still, which is coming from keeping your pelvis nice and still. Okay, so squeezing your glute, lifting your leg, and then you can alternate back and forth, squeeze and lift. Good, squeeze and lift, and those are your hip extensions over top of the stability. Okay, so that was our second episode in the video series. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want more information, please contact me at www.dynamicliving.me or you can phone us at 647 351 two six four nine.